Three-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters are making their way out onto the course for tonight's seventh race. It is the $100,000 final of the Ohio Sire Stakes three-year-old Colt Trot. Number one is a seven-time winner on the season with a mark of 159 and one and over $80,000 in career earnings. This has put them on hold. He's owned in partnership by Joseph Lanning and James Glass, trained by Lloyd Hawk. The driver is Dave Hawk. His stable mate, the leader in his division at two, this center of striking Sabra has incredible nine for 11 career record with two wins and three starts this year and two impressive preps entering this race. 1A, he's striking for James Glass, Robert Kaufman, trainer Danny Collins, and Chip Noble. An 11 time winner at two, this striking Sabra Gelding's most recent win was his fastest ever, a 156 and three clocking at Scioto. R AKA Willis, owned by Paul Redham, trained by Randall Fulmer with David Miller. Next onto the track is the leading money earner in his division with six wins under his belt this season and a mark of 157 and one at Scioto. Number three, Rocky Mountain Sun. Rocky Mountain Sun is owned by the Rocky Mountain Stable, trained by Scotty White, Brett Miller drives. In peak form, this three-year-old is coming into the race off a gritty 158-1 win at Raceway Park. Part of a three-race win streak, he started at Northfield early in August. Striking Gator, owned by Richard Beinauer. Rick Beinauer is the trainer, and Walter Case Jr. is up. With victories in seven of 13 starts this season and a mark of 157 right here at Scioto, number five, Kansas Corn. is owned by Deborah Miller-Crooks and driven by trainer Keith Haynes. Now closing in on $50,000 in seasonal earnings, entering this race off a of victory last out. Number six is Dunkster for owner Dean Davis, trainer Kurt Sugg, the driver Ron Pierce. And this sophomore's most recent 157 and two Ohio Sire Stakes win at Northfield was his fastest ever, always a front end danger, mysterious speed. Owned by Leash and J.R. Slaughter of Prospect, Kentucky, trained by Tom Davis, who is in the bike. Post time for the seventh in just five minutes. Wait, make your wagers early and don't get shut out. Five minutes to post time. Colt Trot. They're off and a pair of breakers at the start. The one put them on hold and the six Dunkster is off stride. Mysterious speed from the outside. Crosses over and grabs the lead as they enter the far turn the first time. A.K. Willis comes away a tight second. Striking Gator not relaxed. He'll charge up to challenge and take over the lead. A gap of three lengths back. Rocky Mountain Sun trots away in the fourth spot. Length and Abmore. Kansas Corn is fifth. Then two more to he striking, followed by put them on hold. And much farther back, Dunkster trails the field. The opening quarter in an honest 28 seconds flat as Walter Case Jr. puts Striking Gator on the front end. It's the three to five favorite Striking Gator who is now calling the shots, leading mysterious speed by two lengths. A.K. Willis with the rail ride in third. Rocky Mountain Sun sitting the four hole trip and he's striking. Starts to pick it up on the outside. Followed by Kansas Corn who has just gone off stride and put them on hold. Also grabs the cover of his entry mate. He's striking as they round the turn. Striking Gator is on the front end 57 and 2. Out of the turn and down the back stretch. It's Striking Gator setting a solid tempo. His lead is a length and a half. Mysterious Speed is racing in second. A.K. Willis is first up on the rim third and now he's striking. Rides covering fourth. He's three lengths off the lead. Rocky Mountain Sun is fifth along the cones. Three more to put them on hold and then much farther back and we get Kansas Corn followed by Dunkster as they head on to the far turn and it's Striking Gator in front by two and a half. AK Willis takes over second as Mysterious Speed loses ground and Striking Gator puts it in another gear. 126 and three on around to the top of the stretch. It's all Striking Gator. He's opening up seven lengths on the field from three wide Rocky Mountain Sun shakes free into second followed by a laboring Mysterious Speed AK Willis and put them on hold but Striking Gator continues his awesome ways as he captures the championship final of the three year old Cole Trot in 156 and one over Rocky Mountain Sun and A.K. Willis, a stakes record.
Heading back to the winner's circle, his fourth consecutive victory. He sets a stakes record. He ties the track record. He scores his fifth of the season. This is Striking Gator, a three-year-old son of Striking Sabra from Toke by Krista's Crown, owned and trained by Rick Beinauer, and driven a victory by Walter Case Jr. Striking Gator takes the final of the three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot. In the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation to the winning connections, Assistant Director of Agriculture, Jim Beakey. Case Junior, here is John Pavlock. Indeed, thank you, Casey. I almost have to ask you, did you see any of the race? You went right to the lead with this one and never looked back. Oh, that's a real nice trotter. I always wanted to drive him, and uh, Rick Beinauer asked me a couple weeks ago if I would be available to drive him tonight because he had to go to a wedding, and uh, I said absolutely I'd be available, and uh, he's just a perfect horse to drive. Well, the only one that contested it early from the outside, the Mysterious Speed came on, but you took the lead. Uh, you know this one's a favorite. You're going to put this one right on the front end. Yeah, I know I'd get the respect. Uh, he looked like the best horse in the race. I figured whoever left would want to follow me because they didn't want to sacrifice himself. And uh, it worked out real good. Once I got him to the front, he was real comfortable. He trotted well, on, well within himself. By the three quarters, 126 and three. Really seemed to get up in the rigging and just put space between him and the others. Yeah, he did it real easy. Uh, I think he could have tried a lot more if someone would have challenged him. And, uh, you know, he equaled the track record for his age, I guess. So he's a pretty nice pony. And a new strikes record. Yeah, uh, nice purse, too. Congratulations, Casey. Thanks, John. Rick Beinhauer, if you're watching on TV, I hope you're having fun at the wedding. Everyone else was having a heck of a time here in the winner's circle in the Ohio Sire Stakes with Striking Gator.